I'm trying to get to where I think a superstar is. So there's mm-hmm. like a few people in my like Beyonce, mm-hmm. Michael, mm-hmm. Whitney, Mariah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like that's Janet. That's yeah. where I want to be. So Chloe wants to be a superstar, but she's making this the forefront of her brand. Every time that we ooh, wants to be a superstar and she's making this kind of music surprise my panties to the side dang girl she wants to be a superstar but isn't careful with the project she's taking on doing everything and anything clay wants to be a superstar but are picking people not able to get her there you know yeah. so can you tell us about your godmother a little i had to beg her to manage me she was like no no and even her <laughs> coming around me i had to beg her because she doesn't like I'm trying to do the math here. I have my laptop out. Baby girl, your chances of being a superstar is dead in the water. Let's get into it. I made a handful of videos about Bailey's career, mainly blaming her team for her mishaps, with the exceptions of like two videos. But not only do I blame her team, I equally blame Chloe. She's the one who has the power to change her team, or at least her manager. At the end of the day, it's her career. If she sees it going the wrong direction, she can change it. I've been trying to figure out if Chloe is self-sabotaging, is ignorant, or is maybe naive. The way she's been moving throughout her career really makes you think she doesn't understand how to be strategic. An important component to being a superstar is knowing you have one shot and thus should move accordingly. Everything needs to be planned out and your projects need to hit. Look at Zendaya. I know she's an actress and she's biracial, but watching how she maneuvers her career, you know this girl is playing it smart. You can tell she's careful. Every project she's put out is a hit. Looking at her and then comparing to how Chloe moves, you think Chloe's like a chicken with her head cut off or a cat with nine lives with all the chances in the world. That's what irritates me about Chloe. She acts like someone who can have her cake and eat it too. She doesn't weigh out every move she makes. Maybe it's not the best thing to have this at the forefront of your brand. It might attract the wrong audience. People won't take you seriously. It'll turn off your Chloe and Haley fan base. That like, you know, kid friendly, super squeaky clean image to grown woman. Like, and it's not even, correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but for me at least it wasn't like, a, it wasn't a strategy to it. Yeah. It was more so me just growing up. Yeah. Was it the same? That was the same for me. Yeah. I think... What do you mean there's no strategy? Yeah, you're grown. You can do whatever you want. But is this choice going to take you down the path you want? Maybe these antics will bite you in the butt, giving you a reputation you can't shake. Mm. I think part of the reason people disliked her new image, besides all the things I mentioned earlier, it was the classic wrong place at the wrong time. People were tired of the oversaturation of overtly sexual black female acts. That coupled with the fact that the top black girls all look the same prompted people to want more diversity in our mainstream black artists. We see the rise of Flo Millie, Coco Jones, Brie Runway, and the comebacks of Money Long and Jasmine Sullivan as a response. There was also a little rejection of Chloe, I think, when she was pitting her bid as NBT, and there's an element of unwarranted hate that seems to follow her still. I blame the fact of the dark nature of the internet. If it knows it can get to you, the hate multiplies. But ultimately, I feel like her antics kind of invited that insidious nature of the internet unintentionally, once it became a thing to constantly drag her for her new image, loads of people got on the hate train and never got off. Chloe needs to understand playing the long game. Looking at the type of music she's making, she should be thinking, yeah, this sound is trendy, but what are the cons? Does this add to my brand in a positive way? Do people like the song or just the visuals? It's this type of thinking I'm not seeing from her or her team do. Especially her team. I don't know why they set the stakes so high right out the gate of her solo debut. So people had high expectations that in her being B's artist, Editing me here, I just want to talk about the nepotism baby element in Chloe's celebrity. Beyonce really pulled for this girl. Like the deals that she was afforded, I looked at her contemporaries compared to her. Her accomplishments did not warrant her to get any of these wins or any of these deals. There was definitely a nepotism element to her that made me kind of reject her ascendancy to a higher profile. Anyways, back to the discussion of high expectations being a Beyonce artist. Every performance had to be stellar, every song had to chart top 40 at least, and she needed to move like an icon, aka like her mentor. And the only thing I could think of as to why her team was promoting her as the next Beyonce, and again I'm speculating, but maybe Hallie was off being a Disney princess in this huge movie, maybe they wanted Chloe to be on that level musically, 
so the two could be on equal footing. I honestly don't know, but that's just the best guess I have. Something that really irritated me about Chloe and her solo career was that it didn't live up to the hype. If you're gonna market yourself as the next big thing, you better have the music to back it up beforehand. Instead, it seemed like she was trying to figure it out along the way. And I understand about giving new artists grace, but it doesn't help setting up people's expectations super high when you aren't at that level yet. Like, that's mostly on you. If you're gonna be on the main stage of the VMAs, like, yeah, they're irrelevant, but there's certain expectations that go with being booked on the main stage. When you announce a solo career, make sure you prioritize the music career above all else so you can pour all that energy into the music and everything that comes with it. Don't overextend yourself doing all these acting jobs during a rollout and then end up overextending yourself while the quality of your artistry suffers. It takes a lot of planning to launch a solo career. You want to be a legend? You get one shot and first impressions are everything. What's the direction? What sets you apart? What's your audience? Who do you want to resonate with first? These are the basic questions that should have been figured out before launching a solo career. Instead, you have an era fraught with people dragging you and finally debuting an LP that charted 119 in the Hot 200. This whole rollout was such a dumpster fire, it makes me think that maybe Parkway didn't intend to have Chloe go solo when she did. I saw her Spotify bio and it said she started making music in 2019, the year how it was first announced as Ariel. Although Chloe was making music, I think Parkway was trying to get her into more acting until Halle came back and they could resume group activities. Chloe was announced to be part of Russell Crowe's movie The Georgetown Project in 2019. Not only that, but she was auditioning for acting roles in 2020 also. And the way her solo rollout has been all over the place, I can tell there's been no planning beforehand. I guess the only reason Chloe started up her solo career, again, this is all speculation, was because of the panorama since the shutdown happened and she couldn't shoot on movie sets, she worked more on solo music. Now when she first started coming out with singles, I figured it would be more of a low-key era. She'd come out with an EP, nothing big, but nope, she came out that summer, 2021, slipping and sliding over the floor with a new image and performing on main stages of award shows. Overall, it's fine if Chloe doesn't know the logistics of moving strategically, but have enough sense to get someone who knows it. She keeps bringing up her godmother being her manager and I looked her up. She's a motivational speaker and designer. Am I missing something? Do you have the credentials? Cause I looked at your page and it doesn't look like you I watched a TikTok about how Chloe needs a Joe Jackson and I didn't completely understand until I saw Kim Nicole Foster's video on Chloe. This girl needs a Joe Jackson, a Matthew Knowles, or heck, Chris Jenner to navigate the business side of things so her work won't go to waste. And I'm not sure Chloe will wise up to all this anytime soon because in an Apple Music interview with Lotto, she mentioned this. Like that's Janet, that's yeah. where I want to be. So yeah. I know I have a lot of work to go because yeah. I've seen like <clears throat> firsthand the work ethic yeah. that has gone into it. And yeah. I'm like, okay, I, yes, I know I work hard, but I could go even harder. Yeah. I'm like, you looked over your whole career thus far and came to this conclusion. I don't think you need to work any harder than you're already doing. You need to work smart. This girl doesn't know how to tweak her situation to work in her favor. It's situations like this that makes me wonder if she's clueless to her whole situation. You want to be a superstar, you have to be able to know when something isn't working at the very least. How you go from next big thing to at least I was able to release an album. Like, damn, the fall was mighty. Now before I end this video, I have to give Chloe her flowers. She is talented, she is a gifted vocalist, she has interesting production, and I hope she doesn't get deterred from music as a whole. But this girl is no superstar. At this point in her career, she's not even eligible to be a superstar. She wasn't careful in the beginning, and once you ruin people's first impression of you, it's almost impossible to come back from that. She has a slightly better chance of making a comeback as a top 40 artist, if she gets another chance from a label. That and the next Chloe and Halle LP needs to be a hit, and she needs to move better than before. How you want to be an icon, a superstar, and not only mess up, but mess up royally. On the other hand, I personally think that superstars are obsolete. Like the way our culture and music infrastructure is set up, I don't think there will be superstars in the future. There'll be big acts like Doja, not another MJ or Prince though. Heck, it's really telling that B is the last superstar of her generation. Also, I find it hard to believe that people will be okay with putting celebrities on a godlike pedestal like we did in the past. There's been too much work to humanize celebs, especially with the rise of mental health awareness. Please tell me what you think, comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.